If you're trying to learn the basic steps from Mambo as a beginner, this is the video for you. We're gonna teach you the basics in a way that'll help you develop confidence and even look good on the dance floor. My name is Brian B. I'm Miss Megan. From Social Dance Online. So let's go ahead and walk through everything we're gonna do in the video. We'll teach it to you step by step and at the end we'll do it to music. How's that? So the basic step, two, three, four, two, three, four. We're also gonna learn the open break and underarm turn. Back to our basic step. Then we're gonna do the fifth position breaks two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. Then we're gonna go back to our basic. We'll teach you the crossover breaks, two, three, four, two, three, four. We're gonna end them with an underarm turn. Step number five, I think this is, is the cross body lead. We'll do this twice. I lied, we'll do the cross body lead three times oh. because I want you to see Miss Megan when we do the shoulder checks. These are the shoulder checks, and we'll have a foot change for move number seven, where we'll do sweetheart position, two, three, four, and two, three, four. Let's go ahead and go through the basic. We're gonna do this side by side, so your partner's gonna be in front of you. We're gonna start with the left foot. Now, right off the bat, one of the weird things about mambo, if you've ever done salsa, on salsa, we're a lot of times stepping on the one. We're gonna wait till the second beat. So we're gonna hear the music, five, six, seven, eight, one. We're gonna rock two, three, four hold one, two, three, four hold one, two, three, four hold one, two, three, four hold one. So always starting left foot leaders, always starting right foot for the followers. Anything for the followers, Ms. Megan? Followers, you're doing the same exact thing, just opposite. So we're going back and together, forward and together, two, three, four, two, Three, and if you want to get fancy, you can, as you step your two, three on the four, we're going to step on the inside of the foot and change on the one. We do it again, two, three, four, change one. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Cool? We're teaching this social dance. Now we can do this in two different ways. We can do this in closed position, a two, three, four, two, three, four. But while we're doing this, you could also slide down and do this in a two hand hold. So I put my hands underneath. I call this towel on the towel bar. My hands are the towel bar. Megan's are the towel. So I can do this basic here, right? From this position or close position, we'll have the next step, which is the open break. There's our basic. We're gonna do an open break and an underarm turn. So an open break is just a rock step away from each other. So what we're gonna do is, as we're doing our basic two, three, four, two, three, four. Good news for the leaders, everything's the same for you. Oh, I lied. We're gonna rock back first. <laughs> two, three, four, then we go under arm turn. You could do it rocking forward, but we're gonna do it rocking back. So off of a basic, two, three, four, two, three, four. Rock, step, side, and under arm turn. Can you talk about the footwork for that and then I'll talk about the lead. Yes, so followers, we're gonna rock back like normal. So we have two, three, four, two, three, four. We rock back. Two, three, four. Now we're going to do our turn. We step on a very slight diagonal for two, pivot back around for three, and four. So leaders, when I rock back, there's a little pressure as if there was a window pane between us. I'm not going to push through that window, but Megan feels a little pressure. Two, three, four. At this point, I get my fingers ready, and I'm going to curve this around her head. Rock, step, side, and around her head. I can pick up closed position to go into move number three, which is the fifth position breaks. That's just a fancy way for rocking back. Your mom was a ballet teacher. Fifth position, is that what they call that? No, that's fourth position. Okay, fifth what's... position is closed okay. both ways. So not as goofy as ballet. But fifth position breaks, rocking back, we're gonna open up. Two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four two, three, four, closing back up. So this is easy to lead. It's especially easy to lead from a closed position because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shift my partner. She feels that little pressure on that window pane to open us back. Then I'm gonna almost, for lack of better terminology, shove her this way. Just make sure she opens back there. I can pick up the hand and we can do these backwards. Back rock. So let's do that again. So from our basic, two, three, four, two, three, four. We feel that little shift to create that position. We rock back. I drop this hand underneath, two, three, four. Now I'm shifting my body and now we're kind of in the rhythm. A rock, step, side, a two, three, four. Now when I'm done, off of this side, I wanna square back up to my partner. 
and back to my basic. Good etiquette in ballroom dancing, Latin dancing, is that there's a little window that my partner's always over. So when I turn back, she's gonna stay over my right shoulder as I pick back up the basic, right? That's gonna lead us into move number four, which is the crossover breaks. You'll see this in cha-cha, rumba, salt, well, a little bit less in salsa. But as I'm dancing my basic, I wanna drop this hand down underneath, right? Then I can cross over forward, a two, three, four. Cool way to end this is the underarm turn. We're gonna talk about that in a second, but let's get into it. We're dancing our basic. I have to remember to drop that hand. That's a big clue for the follower. Take a little sidestep here to send her through. Two, three, four, two, three, four. I'm gonna do about three of these, and on the last third one, I windshield wiper this hand up to that underarm turn position, so she steps through and I turn her. Good rule of thumb when you're turning a, a follower, a girl, is that your hand is going around her head like a halo, because she's an angel, that's the old joke, right? So that's move number four, your crossover breaks. But now I'm bored, because I'm just looking at the same visual, I want to be able to dance a cross body lead to get to the other side, right? If we do it both ways. So this is a little bit tricky, quite fun. So I'm actually gonna do it on this side for the leaders because the footwork's gonna make sense, right? Just the footwork first, right? We do a basic. This is the lane that my follower has to travel on. So I have to get out of the way. Two, three, four. So I've now given Megan the lane. I back rock, two, three, four. If we do it again from this side so the leaders can see their footwork. So rock, step, side for you leaders. Rock, step, side, back, rock, and closed. Cool. Megan, can you talk about your footwork? Yes, followers, we have back, replace, forward, and then forward, turn, together. Try again? Yep, so we have back, rock, forward, forward, turn, together. And to lead this, same thing as I said before, this dropping of the hand, one of the skills I teach in group classes to be able to just drop this hand and open your body up, right? If I drop this hand but I keep it with me, I turn my partner with me, so I need to be able to drop the hand and open my body up, that skill right there. So as we go two, three, four, I drop the hand, my hands are square. I wanna bring her across and back up. A two, three, four. So two, three, we're square. I'm almost holding her back a little bit and then I shift all of this to bring her through two, three, four. So if we do it one more time, that is your cross body lead. Now we're gonna go, and I'm gonna do the shoulder check from this side because I want the leaders to see their footwork. So a shoulder check, if I'm dancing my basic, I can change this hand underneath. I wanna use that open break that we've already learned to get into the shoulder check. If we get there, I wanna do it twice before I go back to my basics. So leaders, this changes the footwork a little bit for you. So let's talk about your footwork. If we do the open break, two, three, four. I face this way and I rock in front of my partner, two, three, four. I do it again, two, three, face this way, two, three, back to the middle. And I'm gonna let Megan go right that way so you can see her footwork. Followers, we have two, three, turning four. Now we're gonna rock back, two, three, turning four. Again, two, three, turn four, two, three, turn four. So to lead this, leaders, I wanna be able to drop that hand to what I call a swing grip all the way underneath. This is gonna allow this hand to function better. So during my previous basic, I get the hand nice and ready underneath, boom. Now she feels that little pressure, that little window pane, a two, three, over her head and rock step side. Now there's two different ways to lead this. Number one, they call this a shoulder check because I can check her on her shoulder, right? When I'm a little bit better and I'm good at being connected in this hand, I don't actually need this right hand for the shoulder check and I like to kind of keep it open. In fact, there's a picture of Megan and I dancing at the Ohio Star Ball where we're in this position very, back in the day. Very, very long time Very long ago. time ago. All right, so that is the shoulder check, right? The seventh move, to make it look cool, this has a foot change for the leaders, and it's based off the same as the shoulder check. Two, three, four, but I change my hand. Two, three, I fake. We're on the same foot, we're on the same foot, we're on the same fake, and two, three, four. What I mean by a fake is I'm not stepping on the beat. So if we do this again slowly, we've uh, done a basic, right? to change the hand. I'll show you a cool way to change that hand. Now from here, this is the position, I'm gonna let Megan rock back. This is the position I'm bringing her into, this sweetheart or side by side 
position, right? That's what I want to be able to do. So just with that hand, I want to be able to pull her into that position. Cool? So I've got that hand. We're going along with our basic two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, tap as I, <laughs> as I let go of my partner. Let's do that again. We go two, three, tap for my footwork. So now we're on the same foot. I can pick this hand up and I can rock with her. This is the most comfortable version. I'll do this a couple different times. And I'm allowing her to switch from my right side to my left side. When I'm done, two, three, fake. No step on that. I can change the hand and go back to my basic. Now let's look at everything to music. Alright, if you're really excited about developing confidence and looking great on the dance floor, you need to check this out. This is a membership over on our website. It's the coolest thing since sliced bread. We have an app in the App Store for Apple and Android. 18 different dance styles, all broken out in multiple levels. Step-by-step -step guide to help you look great and feel confident on the dance floor. I'm confident in this video.